Well, maybe you didn't notice it, but Central New York winters, they're changing. As part of our Winter Outlook Day, meteorologist Lindsay Rachel looks at the numbers. Winters in Syracuse aren't quite what they used to be. We know this is true because we look at averages like this one we show you on the Daily Almanac or all these that are included in our Storm Team calendar. Every 10 years, the averages are updated. These updated numbers reflect the middle ground for 30 years worth of highs, lows, rain, and snow. It's done that way so scientists can better gauge our climate or our long-term weather patterns. Using those averages, we noticed our average winter temperature has gone up about two degrees, yet our average snowfall has gone up a whole foot and a half. While we may be measuring more snow, it's not sticking around as long. Since 1951, the number of days with at least an inch of snow on the ground has shrunk by eight, bringing us to a total of 80 days with snow on the ground. Let's look at an example. We'll compare the winter of 1959-60 with that of 2016 and 17. Total snowfall, basically the same. Where the difference lies is how long that snow stayed on the ground. 103 days compared to 75. In the more recent winter, that's a whole month less of snow on the ground. So no, winters on average aren't like they used to be. They're warmer, they're snowier, but unfortunately for the skiers and snowmobiles, Mobilers, the snow that falls doesn't stay long. Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9.